Yo, I haven't done anything! On June 24th, 2023, a Columbia County Sheriff's deputy was diligently performing his duties in Lodi, Wisconsin. He was out on patrol, driving around with his radar gun to monitor the traffic and ensure that all drivers were obeying the speed limits and other traffic laws. As he was keeping a close eye on the cars, he noticed one particular vehicle that immediately caught his attention. First, he observed that the car was missing its driver's side headlight, which was either turned off or not working at all. This is a serious issue, especially during the hours of darkness or low visibility, as it makes it much harder for the driver to see the road and for other drivers to see the car. This could easily lead to dangerous situations or accidents, but that wasn't the only problem. The deputy then used his radar gun to check the speed of the car and discovered that it was traveling at a speed of 57 miles per hour. This was significantly over the speed limit, which was clearly marked as 35 miles per hour in that area. Speed limits are set for a reason, usually to keep traffic moving safely and smoothly, and going 22 miles per hour over the limit is a serious violation. Realizing the potential danger this driver posed to herself and others, the deputy decided to initiate a traffic stop. He turned on his patrol car's lights and siren, signaling the driver to pull over to the side of the road. The driver compiled, and once the vehicle was safely stopped, the deputy approached the car to speak with the driver. He found the driver to be a 29-year-old woman. As he walked towards the vehicle, the deputy suddenly realized that he had left his body camera back in his squad car. Understanding the importance of recording the interaction, he quickly returned to his car to retrieve it. But even in this brief conversation that he couldn't record, the deputy noticed a couple of concerning signs. The woman's speech was noticeably slurred, and her eyes were bloodshot. These signs suggested that she might be under the influence of alcohol or drugs, adding a layer of seriousness to the traffic stop. When he returned to the stopped vehicle, he began to speak with the driver. Sorry about that. Um, do you have the proof of insurance for the vehicle, please? Um, I do on my phone. Okay. I don't have any internet here. Okay. I just moved here. Um, me and my husband separated, okay. and now we're back together, so I'm going back to our home. How much have you had to drink tonight? Um, I haven't. I, ha I had, like, one beer, like, okay. at, like, five, six o'clock. All right. I'm going to be back Sorry. up shortly. I, I know I was probably speeding. I you speed were. all the time. Okay. Yeah, so. I, had, I observed you had 57. It's a posted 35. Okay. Yeah. All right, plus your headlight is the, the main reason. My headlight? Yeah. Are your headlights still on right now? So, um, suddenly my headlight, like, everything on my, like, literally tonight has come on. You. And I, I don't know, like, I had a problem in the past with my alternator. So, yeah, everything on this side's off. Everything Marker on Marker light, this? everything on that side in the front. Can I see it? Nope, stay in the vehicle. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so everything just came on my vehicle, like this, I don't know what this is, the check engine, mm -hmm. and then, um, Cruise control just came on my vehicle and brake light. Even when my brake is down, oh, it came on. So I, I don't know what's going on with my vehicle. And like um, my speedometer's not working. Okay. It's like going all the way to 150, and I don't know. I have to take it in. It's acting weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. Okay. I'm just gonna go back and do a record check. I'll be back up shortly. All right. Sounds good. Now, as you just saw. The woman explained how she got back together with her husband, and that's where she was going. Then the officer explained how her headlight was off, and she was going about 50 miles per hour. This is where the officer asks her that he has to go check on her previous records, and he'd be back in a while. The deputy checked the driver's records and found she had no past OWI convictions, which was a little reassuring. But when she got out of her car, he noticed she was unsteady and smelled like alcohol. All right, man. Why don't you step out for me, please? Why don't you leave the purse and the phone on the seat right there? Could you set your phone and the purse on the seat, please? Why don't you just step over back to the front of my car here? Sure. It does appear to me, here's fine. It does appear to me that there's indications of impairment. Okay. okay. So how much have you had to drink today? 
I had a drink at like five, six o'clock. Other substances, anything else? No? I drink like maybe like three, four times a year. So I'd like to conduct field sobriety testing. Okay. Sounds Would you consent good. to doing that? Um, sure. What does that consist of? It's standardized field sobriety testing. <laughs> okay. Okay. So can I get you to just stand right here facing me? So can I get you to keep your arms down at your sides for me? Yep. What we're going to do is I need you to follow my finger. Okay. Do you see my finger? No, not at all. Yes or no? <laughs> Sorry, yes. Okay. Follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. Keep your head still. Now, as you can see, she got out of the car, saying she only had one drink at about six o'clock o'clock. What do you think she had? I mean, she clearly looks totally out of senses. Anyways, the police conduct his usual SOB tests on her. Watch more. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the last test is gonna be a one leg stand test. Okay, so for this test, what I need you to do is pick a foot, doesn't matter which foot, or pick a leg. You'll raise it off the ground six inches, Point your toe to keep your foot parallel with the ground, keep your arms down at your sides, and you'll count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Sure. Okay. All right. Makes no sense, but sure. Go ahead and begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Arms down at your sides. Uh, how does balance have anything to do with I never leave my chair. This makes no sense. 12, 1,000. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, go ahead and put your foot down. All right, okay. I got one last test. I'll be right back, okay? The woman agreed to take a preliminary breath test, and the results showed a blood alcohol concentration of 0.114, meaning she failed the test. Now, you might be thinking, why are we making such a big deal about a woman who seems so polite and is doing everything the officer asks? But hold on tight because this story is about to take a wild turn. Just when you think everything is calm, it's about to escalate from a gentle breeze to a full-blown tornado. Keep watching, because the real action is just about to begin. Okay. Do you know what the legal limit in Wisconsin is? I think it's like 0.7 or 0.8. 0.08, yeah, okay. Do you have any idea where you're gonna be at? Um, I don't know, I think that I, I'm a little bit of a lightweight, but I spend like hours, so maybe like 0.4, I don't I okay. have no idea. And you said you only had the one drink from five or six? Yeah. Okay, so you're at a 114. Okay, so you are over the legal limit right now. Okay. How is that possible? So what kind of drink did you have? You said it was a beer? It was a beer. Okay, what kind of beer? Um, an IPA or something. I don't know, I don't really drink that stuff normally. All right, so right now you are under arrest for OWI. So I need you to turn around for me, put your arms behind your back. No, nope. no, 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 don't pull away, don't pull away. Why? Don't pull away, don't pull away, because you are over the legal my limit. Dog. All right, so relax, what about my relax. Dog? relax. What about my dog? Oh. Relax, please. Don't touch me. Nope, you're gonna relax. No. Relax. Please, alone. While trying to handcuff her, deputies escorted her to the ground, and she struck one of them right in the balls. Leave me alone! I haven't done anything! Rex. You asshole! Oh, 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 oh. One fighting. You! I haven't done anything! Are you gonna relax? What about my dog, you asshole? You, you probably beat your woman, you stupid bitch! Alright, are you gonna stand up nice? You. All right, come on, stand up. Backseat. Let me get my shoe, you Get off my car. Yeah. Get in there. You're stand a f***ing douchebag that got C minuses, yeah. Got it. Yep. Oh, yeah, I got it. Motherfucker. So after they handcuffed her and put her in the back of the squad car, the officers stepped away for a moment. That's when the camera inside the car caught something unexpected. The woman started wriggling and trying to slip out of the handcuffs. The officers had to rush back to check on her, but instead of calming down, she made things even worse. Why keep watching? Because the real drama is just getting started. What are you doing with the handcuffs? Did you lock my doors? Not yet. Why aren't you? Not yet. Not yet what? Lock my f***ing doors. Why should I be f***ing because the tow truck's going to come and get the car. No, you're going to lock my doors and you're going to make sure I don't get robbed. 
Isn't that your fucking job? To make sure I am protected as well as any other citizen? I am a citizen. Lock my fucking doors. You have the option to do it right now. And turn off my fucking lights. You have my shoe? I set it on the seat next to you. Hope you know a dog is starving because of you. Literally no one is in danger. C minus fing loser. How does it feel being a below average size? Feel good? I will have some of the on Nope, it's getting towed. No, it isn't. Hello? I'm it's getting to towed, I already told you that. You're a civil servant. If I tell you that you, you can have somebody else pick it up, then you can have somebody else pick it up. Do you forget that you're a civil servant? Do you forget that you are a the civil car servant? is being towed? Do you by the next closest that you are tow truck? Civil servants. You are my servant. You understand that? That's not happening. Tow truck will be in route. Well, I'm gonna sue you then. Okay. Uh, hope you're ready because it has connections with the police department. Retard. Didn't I tell you that the calm you see is going to change to a tornado? As you can see, the woman takes a full 180 degrees turn from her good behavior. From being all nice and friendly, she's now screaming, cursing, threatening, and doing everything possible to get out of this situation. But the poor woman doesn't know she is just ruining things for herself. So the officer sits in his car and tells the woman what she's been charged with. But hold on, hold on friends, it's not over just yet. So when she's told all of that, she acts like she doesn't care about it and says that the procedure can wait. Then, out of the blue, she requests to use the bathroom, claiming she's desperate to pee. But the officer, who's witnessed her erratic behavior, like trying to bolt from the car, decides it's too risky. He firmly denies her request. When told she couldn't use the restroom yet, she stated she would not piss herself, just only in the back of the squad car. I have to let me go to the bathroom. Let me go to the bathroom. For the love of God, please let me not piss all over myself and go to the bathroom. Anyway, she does end up pissing all over the rear seat and floor of the squad car. What a bad day to be a cop now. You'll be able to do that, alright? I'm not gonna piss on myself. Do you recall that I have to lightly go? I understand that you said that, and I told you you had to wait. I'm sorry. I understand that I told you I had to pee multiple times, and that I do understand you didn't that. Yes. Allow me to. You're correct. I'm sorry, but this wasn't the correct time. There is only a certain amount of time. Hold their pee. I've been holding my pee since the moment you arrested me. Allow me to go to the bathroom. Are you gonna write me another ticket? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What are you talking about? I didn't. What is wrong I didn't with write you? you another ticket for. Being Why in the back of my car. Nothing? That was a form that's going to go in the blood test. This is the affidavit for the search warrant. You what? will be getting other citations, but they won't what? be for that. What other citations? For speed. Oh, my speed? Yep. I'll be so fing proud of yourself. Do you actually ever do anything to a service the actual society? Do you put away pet meals and great No, you don't. Human decency. Human decency. All I did Affirm. over drink by a little bit. I'm not allowed to go piss. What the is wrong? What a total headache for a woman. As you just witnessed, she's doing everything she can to manipulate the officer, claiming all she needed to do was use the restroom and he wouldn't allow it. The officer calmly explains it's not the appropriate time for that. Clearly, she had just attempted to escape. On top of that, she started hurling insults and abuse at the officer. She even accused him of being racist and indecent. Can you believe the irony of her accusations? Despite all this chaos, the officer remains remarkably composed and patient. If it were someone else, they might not tolerate such irrational behavior for long. It's a testament to the officer's professionalism that he's handling this challenging situation with such dignity and restraint. Keep watching to see how this intense interaction unfolds. You have both your shoes back on? Yeah. All right, come on. Come I'm here. Come it. here, come here, come on. No, I'm not come on. resisting. Just let me go. Well, can I put this back behind your no. wrist the way it's supposed to be? In the front, yes, you may. All right, I can do that. Are you going to be cooperative? If you can be nice to me and not make me piss my own pants, yeah. Right, right this way. 
Like, no, I have to escort you. I have to escort you. I can walk on my no, own. Come on, come on, come on. I can walk on my own. Is that better? I don't want I, you touching me. I don't me. want you falling. You are a so, strange come on. man. Come on, and come on, I come don't on. know you. Come on. I don't know you. Please do not touch me. Do you want to do it this way or do we need you. to go back Please in the ambulance do not touch You just saw that as she is taken to a hospital, she is handcuffed again and then asked to take a seat. But she wouldn't take a seat. Another officer then asks her to do the same. All this irrational behavior then turns into a drama scene. Guess what? Crocodile tears! Okay. It, it is. Happens. <laughs> it happens. And me forced to pee my own pink pants. Oh, <laughs> up. Was that outside in the squad car? Yeah. I asked multiple times to go to the bathroom. No, but do you understand why? <laughs> I didn't do anything to hurt anyone. <laughs> Why? Did he tell you that he was waiting for the judge? You can't do anything without waiting for permission. You can't to do let me go to the bathroom. No. What kind of Actually, system is that? Go I to the bathroom. bathroom. You have to pee in the car, and then you wrote a thing about me. Like, like I chose to do that. Do you think I want to be covered in my own piss? Are you ready? <laughs> Stay still for me, okay? <laughs> Just stand up. <laughs> we gotta go behind because we gotta go up to the jail. Right? I understand you don't want to, but that's what's gonna happen. So stand up for me. I'm not stand up, stand up, stand up. I'm not resisting. No, I understand. Just stand up. Put it in the front. Nope. It's please. gotta go in the back. No. It's gotta go in the back. No. Otherwise, we gotta do a belly chain and everything else. Do you no. wanna do a belly chain or do you wanna go in the back? Please. Come Why is this the policy? I've it's never, I have no crime against me in any previous so. history. What is wrong with you? But I am. Uh, you're not. No, you're not going to act like you're going to hit someone. Sit down. No. Sit. Just leave me alone. Have you're the one. Charge. You're the one Sit. that putting me in chains and Sit making down. me piss myself. Just go Sit. in the f***ing car down. and put me in the f***ing cage like you want me Sit to. Down. Just... <sighs> she starts off by throwing a massive tantrum, completely ignoring the other lady who's trying to calm her down. She goes on to justify her actions, like being drunk while driving at a crazy 50 miles per hour, insulting the officer, threatening him, and even peeing in the police car. But instead of taking responsibility for any of these serious offenses, she decides to make a huge scene because the officer wouldn't let her use the bathroom at the exact moment she demanded it. She dramatically cries, waving her arms around, while the officer calmly asks her to cooperate. She complains about being handcuffed, calling it chains, and refers to the police car as a cage. She paints the officer as a villain for not immediately granting her wish to use the bathroom, as if that's the biggest injustice in the world right now. This situation is escalating quickly, and her over-the-top reaction is making everything more chaotic. Stay tuned to see how this wild situation unfolds further. When I swung her back to the squad car, she screamed in the hospital and would voluntarily give up control of her legs. The 29-year-old woman faced serious charges after her incident with the officer. She was accused of felony battery threat to an officer and misdemeanor resisting obstructing an officer. On top of that, she received multiple tickets totaling more than $2,000, which included a first-time OWI, operating while intoxicated offense. Fast forward about four months later, she entered a plea of no contest for the charge of resisting obstructing an officer and was found guilty. The other charge against her was dropped when it was read in court. Additionally, 
all her other tickets were dismissed based on the prosecutor's decision, except for the OWI offense. In the end, she was spared from a full sentence but still faced consequences. Instead of a longer jail term, the court withheld her sentence and sentenced her to five days in jail and 12 months of probation. This case serves as a reminder of the serious consequences of breaking the law, especially when it involves endangering others on the road. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more interesting information.